Okay, this is uh, episode one of my development log. I've been uh, following along Mike Geig's uh, Allegro 5 C++ uh, tutorial on object-oriented uh, video game development. And I just kind of want to take you through my uh, main.c++ file. Uh, here we have the uh, includes. Um, pretty standard stuff if you know C++. If you don't, well then you probably won't be watching this video. Here I have a uh, list of Boolean variables. And then to go along with them, I've named them up, down, left, right, and space to uh, give me the uh, to trigger the buttons or the um, the arrow keys and the space key. Uh, here I have my spaceship, which is a game object. You can see here I have my game object class and my spaceship class. Back to main. Here I have a uh, list of game objects, name objects, and then I have um, an iterator to loop through all of my objects and call uh, certain functions. You have just some different variables. Uh, if you're familiar with Allegro, you'll recognize. I have a bitmap, display, an event queue, a timer, and a uh, font. Uh, here's where I've add on. I've installed all my add-ons for the keyboard and font and different things. Here we've got uh, where I loaded my font and my spaceship uh, bitmap. Here we've got event sources for the keyboard and for my timer, which gives us 60 frames a second. And here's my main game loop. This is where we do the logic for uh, keys being pressed and we trigger the different boolean variables to true or false and then when the key uh, is up we set it back to false depending on which uh, key is pressed using the uh, built-in Allegro key codes. Here I have my main game update uh, that's triggered by my timer. This gives me my frames per second. This is the logic for moving my ship around. <clears throat> and then this, um, this is the iterator function that loops through each one of my game objects. And um, this calls the update. And then down here we have the render. Uh, pretty much the same thing. Anytime uh, render is called, which every update render is set to true. And here we set render to false, draw my frames per second in the upper left hand corner. Then we loop through each game object and call each game object's render method. And then this is just standard Allegro stuff. And then here's kind of the same thing for cleaning up. After I exit my main game loop, you'll see um, we loop through each game object, call its destroy function, and then <clears throat> delete it from the list of game objects. Uh, this cleans up my font, timer, event queue, and display. And that's pretty much it for my main uh, C++ file. Let's see what it looks like here. Run it. You can see got some pretty cool little ship animations. Um, when it goes back and forward and left to right. And then I've got balance checking to make sure that it stays on the screen. And here in the upper left hand corner you can see my uh, frames per second. So it's running pretty smoothly. Um, no complaints. But um, now that I have my game object class set up, it should be easy to add the enemies and different things that will be in following episodes. Um, I'll put a link to the tutorial that I've been following in the description. So if any of y'all are interested in learning C++, and, well, you need to already know C++ somewhat, but learning Allegro 5 um, on top of that, uh, I'll have a link to that. And yeah, this is episode 1. Stay tuned for more.